All right. How's everybody doing today? So we are waiting. Oh, it's up. I got to do something real quick off the camera. Are we still off the camera? Yeah, we're still off the camera. Just to readjust. I got to move my character a little bit and then do this and that. And then come back over here and uh, we're going to... Uh, yeah, there we are. We're in game. Good. That is wonderful. I need to turn this off. I need to remember to turn that on. And... Where is... That one? Oop, nope. Not that one. Bit of technical stuff right now while, while I'm trying to get this sorted. Why is that like? Okay, hello. <laughs> uh, hang on. Why has this got me so? Where is? Why are you doing this to me? Why, why, why? What, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Okay, never mind. We're not going to have the camera on today. I was hoping to do that, but it's not wanting to cooperate with me. I should have checked that before I started. But yeah, so we are in Imperion. You can hear the sounds in the background. Let me turn that down just a little bit for you guys. All right, so the question is, what are we doing back in Imperion? Um, yeah, I got some things to show. So in our last uh, stream, we were in creative working on, at least I think, I don't remember what the last thing is I streamed from Imperion, but we were lurking, lurking? Working on our capital vessel, and I have managed to get it in survival. Here it is. We've uh, actually gone and done some exploring with it. I gave it a fresh paint coat. Uh, we may change that, though I noticed I don't have the button here to uh, change the color in one fell swoop. Yeah, it's not there, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, it may just be a creative-only thing, but yeah, we got our capital vessel. We've uh, done a little bit of work with it i did put a pulverized shield polarized shield on it unfortunately up on top was the only place it would fit so we put that there and then last night while i was uh playing and you know exploring and everything and just generally looking for uh supplies we found a repair station uh, i don't know how this thing works just yet in fact, I can't turn it off. Uh, the ship's off right now, so it doesn't waste power. But yeah, we got this place built up. It looks pretty good, especially for a first... Um... A first-time capital vessel. There's literally a wall. How's it reflecting... Game devs, that makes no sense. How's this reflecting the forest? There's literally a wall there, and on the other side of that. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> That's weird. So, yeah, we we managed to get this. I've done some exploring and everything. And uh, I've been working on... Let's see if I can do this without showing the spoiler. I've been working on modifying the Blue Streak version 2 for a mining vessel. Uh, we've done that. And then I decided I was going to build a completely new ship design for our mining vessel. And I ended up doing that. Uh, all of this was off camera. So we do have a new mining ship available to us if we had enough resources to make. And I'm kind of taking a bit to say this. Uh, these uh, small optic bridges. 
Uh, we still need two more. We don't have enough resources, but this is the mining ship that I built. Uh, we've called it the UNF Excavator for that exact reason. You can't really see a whole lot, but it's got two mining lasers on the front. It's got a couple of uh, Gatling guns somewhere. I believe it's here somewhere, or maybe it doesn't. I don't remember. And then uh, we've got two turrets on top to kind of offer some uh, protection for it. So we did that in creative and I was planning on bringing that ship over here. Uh, it is kind of terrible in its design, but we're, we're still learning how to build ships in this. And then, you know, watching other people and their videos and seeing what they do, uh, I saw something where somebody, and I'm backing up for a reason, uh, whoop. somebody took a POI, Actually, they took a uh, like a station and turned it into their own base. So they they refit it, remodeled it, and everything. And I was like, you know what? I want to kind of try and do that. And uh, as we were exploring last night, and we were whoop, not that far out over here on Samos, Samos, Simos. Uh, we were out in the space there, and I noticed a uh, an interesting POI that was like uh, mines everywhere, and there were three uh, destroyed capital vessels and one small vessel. Uh, the capital vessels wouldn't move. They didn't have enough left in them to be able to move. I'd have to do some extensive work in order to make those work. Uh, so I just stripped out all the stuff that I thought was valuable and kind of left them there. But the small vessel, the small vessel kind of caught my interest. So I grabbed the small vessel. It was capable of moving. So we docked it on top of the ship and it was in really, really bad shape. Like most of the floor was gone. I think a good chunk of one of the sides was gone and just bits and bobs here and there. And uh, half of the engines were actually missing. So I grabbed it, brought it back here, and last night I started working on it off stream, off camera. And uh, here it is, completely revamped. Um, we haven't finished it quite yet. We don't have enough resources to do everything I'd like with it. But yeah, we... We remodeled it, uh, put it back together in the shapes that I thought it would be in, and we also modified the cockpit. The uh, the cockpit on this thing wasn't was an open cockpit. Oh my gosh! Let me up here. It's not gonna let me up here now. So it was an open cockpit in here uh, with just glass all around it. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of that because with uh, one of the ships that I built. Go to the library, we're looking for this one. Uh, ignore the image, but one of the things I noticed with it is getting in and out of the cockpit. It, or trying to move around inside of it is kind of a pain in the butt, especially when you're out in space because then it doesn't have uh, gravity, which devs, I really wish you'd have gravity, a gravity generator for small vessels, especially when you can make much bigger small vessels like that thing there. Uh, the Black Phoenix that I made that really needs to be revamped in terms of its engines and everything. And same with this. I really, really would like that. Um, but yeah, we, we took this, we rebuilt it. Uh, I've changed some of the colors around, like these pipings. Oh my gosh. Let me stay up here. Like these pipings here were a different uh, style. Uh, I decided to make them gray on both sides. You can see that. And uh, just, you know, rework this as best I could and then change some of the shapes in some places and some of the colors. So you can see we got more piping here and here. Uh, that is part of the free prefab. That is not something that I just decided to do. Uh, pretty much this entire thing was, is a prefab. So I just, I wanted to try and revamp it and everything, and this is what it came out to be. Um, it does have some points that we need to fix and some issues that we've got to address. Uh, first issue is this, uh, the shutter door. We can't, we actually have to duck to get in here. Uh, nothing I can really do about that except for put a real door on there. However, I kind of like the idea of having the shutter door there. 
So it is, it is what it is at this point. Like we're just kind of stuck with that. I just saw that. That one's the darker parts on the bottom. The darker part over here is on the top. Eh. Worry about that later. I still haven't gone through and done all the coloring on the inside. Uh, I've tried to match up what was in here originally as best I could, and then you know, do some bits and bobs here and there, like this little ramp to get up into this section. Uh, this door was always here. I don't know if I want to keep it. For now, it's just going to stay. I don't see a reason not to keep it. Uh, we got a wireless connection there. From what I understand from mining, that is something you need to like transfer it over to a capital vessel. Uh, I've still got to figure out how that works. And uh, yeah, we got we got this thing looking pretty good on the inside. Um, we did do one modification. Uh, the uh, All of the thrusters on this were originally mediums. I mean, all of them, and there's a lot. Like, you got uh, four for left and right, and then you got eight for up and down. See them down in there. And then uh, six for going in reverse. And all of those were originally uh, mediums. However, the CPU usage on this was extremely high, and unfortunately, this thing did not have any of the... We're missing a block there. Uh, it didn't have any of the uh, the CPU modules to uh, make that work. So I had to downgrade it a little bit, and we put a whole bunch of small thrusters in most of them. The, uh, the forward thrusters are still mediums. Uh, so this thing is flying in atmosphere is kind of a pain. It's a little bit of a tank at the moment until we get the, uh, the proper thrusters in there. And I never thought to check if I need to move some of these textures around. For now, it looks fine. But yeah, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. Uh, again, this is a prefab that I just grabbed and decided I was going to try and revamp it. And uh, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. It looks pretty good. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. Uh, one of the things I know from doing my creative is... On the Blue Streak version 2, when I changed out all the equipment on it to make it into a miner, the uh, the generator ooh excuse me the generator use was quite high. And unfortunately, this thing only has where are they at uh, six generators. I don't know if that's going to be enough to run the mining lasers. We may have to put some more generators in if I can. We're a little bit. Uh, overburdened on the CPU usage, and yes, I am aware it does say off. That's going to be a segue into the next uh, little thing. So why do I still have the CPU off? And uh, also alongside that, the, uh, the, the weight and volume and mass stuff is still off. Um, so I've been thinking about it and uh, discussing with uh, people on Reddit, and some people had some good points. Uh, one of them plays with, I think it's a uh, weight and mass off, but they have the CPU turned on. So that allows them to make big, massive ships. And that's kind of what I'm here for. I want to make some really big, cool looking ships. Uh, some small ones too, like uh, these guys. Uh, I need to get better at actually designing my ships. But yeah, that's uh, one of the things that I'm really interested in being able to do here. So I'm thinking as of right now, we may continue playing without the CPU and the weight and mass enabled. Because it, it seems like a, an odd little thing to keep you from being able to make really big ships. And I just realized this is not even over here either. I kind of like how that jets out. Uh, I do need to grab a couple more blocks. I'm seeing little things that I need to fix. Like that side's not the same as the other side, and then we're missing a block right there. So I do have a whole bunch more blocks made up. We'll probably go and grab those. Uh, first things first, before we get going on any kind of adv adventure, I've got to go get some more pentaxed crystals. Uh, we're down to, I want to say about 70 
percent power in our warp drive on the capital vessel. Uh, I've already taken them out of this blue streak, which thinking about it, I probably should. I need to rename that small vessel. Uh, ammo controller, yes. Let's go here. Oh, I think I already took out all the ammo. Yeah, I did. I need to get some ammo in that thing for the uh, the turret. Just as a little precautionary uh, self-defense. I don't really... Originally, that thing had a whole bunch of weapons on it, too. Um, so I'm going to, like change it we're gonna we're gonna make it into a little bit of a mining vessel though i do want to have it protected a little bit it's mostly going to be docked with the uh the capital ship anyway but the capital ship also doesn't have a whole lot of weapons on it so there are a few things we need to do about that i'm just gonna go ahead and grab a whole bunch of those and yes i'm aware that the volume is going way over uh i am going to try and keep the CPU at the level it currently is. I know I could go up and beyond it, but it's it's one of those kind of little oddities with me as far as this game is concerned. Uh, I do understand that turning all that on makes the game far more difficult and for some people more enjoyable. Uh, I'm not looking to make it easy on myself. I just realized there's a spot right there that's damaged um i'm not looking to make the game easy on myself but i also don't want to make it hard if that makes sense um it, it's more about finding a way to play it uh in a way that i would actually enjoy and some of the uh, the limitations of building are kind of annoying and some of the limitations as far as weight is concerned are kind of annoying um i mean you've already got an inventory that is pretty much uh it, it's it's pretty finite you can only carry so many items so adding on top of it the weight just seems a little bit too much to me um yeah, it's 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 an odd bod thing. I don't want the game to be too easy on myself, but I don't want it to be so ridiculous that I'm just like not finding it fun. Um, and again, that's because I want to be able to build uh, like some really cool looking massive ships. That is eventually the goal is to build some really big things and just have fun creating. And I just realized I never did decorate these. Um, so blue seems to be the highlight that they originally had on this thing. We're going to do that. So they had some, uh, fins on this thing using these blocks. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the fins. Uh, I do really love these, as you can tell from, you know, there and there. And there's a couple little bits and bobs on that one. But yeah, I do really enjoy those instead. So I figured we'll throw those on there. But yeah, let's uh, let's go put these blocks up. Actually, I don't need to do that. We can... I'm just going to... Drop those there. I don't really need the wood there, but the wood needs to go into... The wood needs to go over into this thing. And unfortunately, because of the way I did this, uh, it's kind of stuck that way at the moment. Not a big deal, not a huge deal. It just takes up a little bit less space, though it does mean that I cannot use F4 to immediately access it. But I don't have to do it that way or use these things here, but it, it's just the way that I set that up. I wasn't aware at first of some of the differences with the uh, 
the constructors or the lack thereof. Like the more advanced constructors means that you get to build everything plus the more advanced stuff. That's something I didn't realize at first. So we got a bunch of constructors. Or we had a whole bunch of constructors everywhere. Okay, so let's get ready for why can I never it never lets me do that. I have to get closer. Yep, I still can't select it. We need to give that ship a name. Still can't select it. Why you do this to me, game? Why? Now can I? Yes, I can now. Oh, all of our food spoiled because I turned it off while I was building. That's okay. I'm surprised that ham hasn't spoiled. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. I'm going to put that over there. And then... We're going to power it on, and we're going to come over here, grab our little ship, and uh, dock it. And hope we're going to go get some Pentax at first. I need to go over to the ice plant and get that. Oh, it automatically closed. As you can see, we got all the switches uh, connected to. So this door and that door should open. Nice. And then same thing with this one. Lovely. I can't believe that actually works. I need to switch out that door. Now, unfortunately, because we do have small uh, thrusters on this thing, it is going to be very, very slow lifting off. I don't know how high we need to go. Apparently we do need to go a little bit more forward. That's fine. We also need to get some fuel in this thing. We don't have that much fuel in it as of right now. So probably what I could do... Because I do have quite a bit here. Like I said, we've been going and uh, like just exploring and gathering stuff, so we do have quite a bit of fuel saved up. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of Pentax to save up. And that ship's gonna cost us a lot of extra weight, so... This is probably going to take a little bit. Well, no, no, it's not taking off as slow as I thought it would. Let's get into space. There are a few more resources I would like to go and collect. Okay, so now that we're out here in space, we need to find... This is always disorient disorienting. Because they're never in the same place. That's 
that spot. And that's Skillion, so there it is. Need to come over here. This is the best place I've found to get Pentax. That there's a uh, whole bunch of. I don't even know what to call them, like growing plants out there that have all that. Let me switch over and see if. Nobody's in chat. Okay. That is fine with me. We're just going to keep on trucking here. Get on over here. And I would like to get the uh, the tank on this filled up and have some extra on the side because I would like to leave this leave the solar system and go go explore, go see what's out there. Probably would need a more advanced uh, CV, but I'm not going to worry about it. And also, I would like to know where, what kind of planets are junk planets, because I do know that's a thing. One of the things I really, really would like to find is some more uh, CPU extensions, so we can start doing a little bit more with our ships. Especially in terms of size, because this CV is, it's nice, it looks great, but it's a little small. I want something big. Speaking of which, we did find a, a really cool looking uh, POI here on this moon. I don't remember the name of this moon. And uh, I did copy it and start messing with it in creative. We're gonna we're gonna eventually turn it into a a space station. But until I'm done with that in creative, there's no real point in it because I, I've still got a lot of work to do with that that base. I still gotta enclose it because it's fairly open to the air. So we got we got work to do on that. And hopefully we can find some stuff as soon as we got enough Pentaxid to uh, last us a little while. I also saw... We're probably going to go back to that. Because I did see that there was a asteroid near Simos that was uh, Promethean ore. I would like to have all that Promethean ore for uh, fuel... And one thing I've noted with this game is it is much easier to control a ship with uh, WASD and the arrow keys. Much, much easier. In fact, I've rebound my active button to uh, zero so I can just push the active button with my, uh, my right hand pinky. Okay, so we're over here. We need to go into some of the bigger the some of the mountain what is this broken radar that's new that wasn't there before Most of these uh, starter moons I've fully explored, except for the uh, the marsh one. I didn't fully explore the marsh because I didn't really see a need to, mostly.
And it's really, really difficult to tell where I'm at in relationship to some of these mountains. Well, here's a uh, pentaxid right here. I don't know what's going to be the easiest way for me to get in and out, and I forgot to shut the... Uh, Forgot to shut the ramp. I saw another one up here. Is there any more fairly close by? Nope, don't see any. Oh, can I get... Oh, that's not good. <laughs> We're gonna have to see if we can get in through the top. Maybe. Hopefully we can get in through the top. All I gotta do is be able to get on top of the thing. Yeah, 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 we're already getting cold. That's not good. I gotta be able to get inside the ship. That's what I get for not landing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the heartbeat. That is so annoying. I see some more over there, but we're getting cold. We need to, we need to get back into the ship. Assuming I can get back into the ship. We may end up having to freeze to death to get back in. Oh, that's so not good. What about over here? Can I get up on top of it here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're up here. <laughs> what a way to start off the stream. Nearly dying because we didn't land the ship. Okay, so we're near this. I did see... Yeah, right there. There's a couple more here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and land. Well, this is an awkward landing. Oh, I still didn't close the hatch. <laughs> oh well. Uh, apparently it wasn't over here. Oh, there's one. Just go around and collect these up for a minute. I thought I saw more somewhere. Apparently it wasn't here. I see an ore right here. What is this? The copper might as well. I got no qualms of grabbing copper. I don't see any others around right here. Close the door. There we go. 
I need to do something about the lighting in here. The lighting is horrible. So this is that ruined structure. Remember there being a few of those over here. I also remember being a complete noob and destroying a bunch of them because I thought I was collecting them. I think we're actually in that mountain range where I did the stupidly destroying them all because I thought I was collecting them. Nope, that's just a spot in the... Oh, look. There's one right there. Maybe? Maybe? No, it's just the... It's just the light coming off the mountain. Back. And I believe that right there is the base that I found that I was talking about that I'm trying to convert into a... Uh... Yep. I'm trying to convert that into a uh, space station. I thought it looked really cool. Eventually, we'll probably get back to making our own, but I've just, I wanted to experiment with uh, refurbishing stuff. Because I'd seen a lot of uh, bigger names in Imperion YouTube do that. And they're so far ahead of me on this game that they are playing uh, Reforged Eden or even uh, Star Salvage. But I am still fairly new to it, so I figure we're just going to play through vanilla until we get the hang of it. I feel like I have gotten the hang of it in some extent. I don't feel like I've gotten a perfect working knowledge of it. Like, right here, I can't... It's hard to tell where I'm at in relationship to the ground. Awkward landing there. Oh gosh. Very awkward landing. For a half second there, I thought we were sliding down the hill. One. Eh. Eh. Let me over here. I want to see if he's got any Promethean. It was one of the things I noted when I first got here is when I killed a couple of uh, ice golems, they had a uh, Promethean or. Nope, but he's got silicon. I'll take the silicon. Let me in. Alright, we're still looking for Pentaxton thinking about I should have a couple there. And that's gonna get out of this. 
It's going to give us a little bit to put back in the tank. I would like to get a lot more, though. You know, it's funny. It's This is one of those things that when you can't find any... Or, uh, when you don't need it, you find tons of it. When you need it, you can't find any. Just go and explore a little bit. And see what we can find. That looks like a golem there. Oh no, it's the activator. We do need to go and find Promethean too. I know where some is. We just gotta go and get it. We've also got a... Uh, uh, a mining... An auto miner. There we go. We got an auto miner on one. Uh, we should probably go and check that. I haven't look to see how much that's collected in a while. It's probably out of fuel too, so we'll need to fill it. And hopefully this time going to that planet will be much better. Last time our, uh, our ship got blown up. I was stranded there for a little while because I didn't want to lose all my goods. And because it was a frozen wasteland, we were dying repeatedly to, uh... I think I've already gutted that. I don't think there's anything worth it. I'm not seeing any more Pentaxid, but I don't really know where to look. So one problem with using a C, uh, yeah, a CV is we can't really see the ground too well. Last time when I did this, I was doing it in one of my SVs, and I found quite a bit actually. Much much easier to spot. Okay, right, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and. Do this. Forty percent. Uh, should be. That should be enough. We're not really going anywhere big. No, not that one. Um. Actually, I don't remember where that was. I think it was here. We should be able to find some more Pentaxid out there too, because that's another cold planet. Where? I'm pretty sure it's that direction that we want to head. I really want a big old stockpile of uh, Pentax Pentaxa before we start going off into the universe. Ooh, while we're here, I'm almost completely out of gold, and I want to put my uh, my new little ship to the test.
I don't. I'm I'm not sure how well we're gonna do with the uh, the generators. We'll see here in a minute as soon as we get to it. And then there's a couple other spots that I haven't explored out here yet, like that question mark up there to the left. We may go and look at, see what that is. Then we need to go. Then we need to go to that. As soon as we're done here, why did we freeze? I hate it when the game freezes. The last time it froze on me, it glitched and it crashed, and I completely lost my ship. And we don't have our one ship saved. And I think I'm going to copy the name I just saw. Because we haven't named our little ship yet and I haven't saved it, so we if we lose it, we're not going to be able to get it back. I need to come up with a uh, designation for small vehicles and big vehicles. Right now we're just calling everything UNF. Uh, UNF is supposed to stand for United Federation. It's just something that popped in my head. I was I had Star Trek on the brain when I came up with UNF. We're going to fly over to this asteroid and uh, see how our new little ship does. I think it does need a little bit more generator power. We're going to find out. And also, I need to figure out exactly how the wireless thing works. Okay, so we're here. Let's go. Me around. Not really something we should do. This thing does not have shields, so that's fine. Oh yeah, this lifts off much better in space. Okay, so I need to do this and... We're not... I don't know how that works. Why am I cold? I shouldn't be cold. Okay, this is not. Okay, so I need to figure out how that works. And also, we got a little bit of a problem here. Okay, so why was I cold?
I don't feel like I'm actually docked. I don't know how that works. You enough seeker. That's what we're going to call this thing. And I see that our hatch is open. It seems our power is uh, just fine. As far as our aim, our aim is terrible. I'm getting more stone than anything. This is working out pretty good. We're a little bit full on our storage. Again, that's something that just because of the nature of the game, I feel like I'm not going to play with, even though that would technically make it easier. Okay, so I don't know how to get this wireless thing uh, working correctly. Gives us a bunch more gold and a ton of stone. I need to go and fix the door <laughs> really badly. Oh god, oh god. Maybe eventually we can get the uh, upgrades. We need to get the proper the proper thrusters on this. So I am noticing it's a little bit sluggish on turning.
Again, this thing had a whole bunch of medium thrusters on it when I took it over, but I didn't have the resources to make uh, the proper CPU stuff. I don't get how the aim works with this. Probably need to put another one on the nose. That way it's going to hit exactly what we're looking at. We are making short, short work of uh, all this gold, though. And I'm surprised our CPU use is uh, not as bad as I thought it would be. So yeah, this is working pretty good. Except I can't hit what I'm aiming for. I'm having to watch where the laser's actually going. We've got so much in our inventory. <laughs> yeah, the inventory is a little bit cheaty, but I feel like it almost has to be to make this somewhat playable. Otherwise, you're just going to be like putting stuff over in a different inventory like every few minutes. Okay, I don't know why our hatch didn't close. Yeah, there you go. We got a whole bunch of gold now. That is quite handy. That is amazing, actually. That worked out. Wow, excuse me. Sneeze came on real quick. But that worked out really, really well. Okay, so the other thing what I was saying earlier is that. That's an 
ice asteroid. There's one here. I want to see what this one is. See what other materials we can find. Oh, uh, actually, while well, I'm thinking about it. Uh, no, wrong. We need to go here. I don't know how much we're just going to do all these. It takes five gold ore to do one, so we may just be good doing that. That should make all of it. I wanted to head towards this. Let's see what some of these question marks are. More ore would be great. We we also need uh the the neo um Neodium. That's neodium? We also need a lot of that. Because we're running very, very, very low at our base. And I guess... Let's go ahead and eat, too. I don't know what I could have possibly lost oxygen for. Oh yeah, because I had to go outside the ship and go back in, duh. And hopefully all these little things flying around are friendly. Let's come over here and see what this is first. I'm hoping for more asteroids, but I don't see resource. It'd be cool to come across some other things, too. Like maybe a POI or something. Check on chat. I don't see anything in chat. Wait, did we somehow switch to... No? Where'd my cursor go? Ah. That confuses me every time I do it. Like, the controls in this game are so awkward that when I go back to Minecraft, I get so confused. Because I get used to one set. Now I know why Simon of Neebs Gaming is always complaining about controls. <laughs> uh, until I started playing Empyrean, I never had a problem with switching games. And the control schemes of them. I started playing Empyrean and it just, everything started blurring together. I may... I could possibly switch around the controls. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, we already did kind of, because I have uh, the action button to do that attached to uh, zero on the number pad. That way, when I'm, like, controlling the ship like this... All I gotta do is reach over and hit zero, and I'm using whatever my active item is. Right now, the only thing we got on this is... Oh, great. 
perfect freaking ice asteroid. Are you kidding me? Uh, like I was saying, the only thing we got on the ship right now is a detector. And it's only the small detector. I want one of the bigger ones if we can find it. If it's even available in vanilla, I don't know. That may be a reforged Eden thing only. There's a gas refinery up there. Another ice asteroid, are you serious? Okay, let's just go to our uh, Promethean deposit. Because apparently there's nothing worth it over here. Uh, one of the other things that I do that I do have active that some people might find cheaty is I've got the auto miners on not depleting deposits. That's something I didn't know about and uh, it seems kind of nice to just set a, an auto miner and just forget about it and then come back and collect it. So you get basically an infinite amount of resources so long as you can make auto miners. Unfortunately, I did not realize that you can't pick them back, or you possibly can pick them back up, I don't know. Um, but when I tried to, I actually destroyed the one on a coup that I had over a uh, copper deposit. I was going to use that for something else, and being that we did find a... Uh, a restium? A restroom? We did find a deposit. Uh, I ended up cleaning out the deposit because I needed that so bad. And I don't have another auto miner core to uh, put an auto miner on it. So I did that last night too. Another little thing that we just kind of did. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't streaming it either. Let's, uh, let's check. Okay, nothing in chat again. I have to check every so often. I don't have a dual monitor set up at the moment. Not that I would have anywhere to put a second monitor. It's just how life is. Trying to do things and you're just met with uh, issues. Uh, I also would like to explore this planet a little bit more. I don't think I need to. There's a neodymium deposit over there. I wonder if we can get a... Uh... What, what are you shooting at? Better not be wasting ammo. Okay, so this thing is like right here. And hopefully our guns will uh, protect us for a little while. Ooh, we are not flat on the ground. Oh, I'm not as close to it as I thought I was. Is 
267, that's not bad. <laughs> We're not flat on the ground at all. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what the auto guns are targeting. I don't think I want to know. Ugh. I don't know why it always turns that off. That should be more than enough of that. We need to fill it up. I would like to go and take on some of these places, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. While I'm thinking about it, and while I've got it in my inventory, we might as well fill up the ship. Don't know how much of that that just used up. Quite a bit. That's fine, we're gonna get a whole lot more here soon. As soon as it's done with all that gold, we'll start making more fuel cells. Is there anything that I wanted to come here and look at? I think I already gutted that. Yeah, this is where we had our accident. So I already gutted that one. Some sort of resource over here. You know, I do remember there was a cobalt asteroid over there. We may go do that. I want to see if there's any more Pentaxid around. There should be. This is an ice planet. I've noticed that those seem to be on ice planets. Cobalt. Got a question mark over there. We may go look at that. Yeah, let's go over here and see what this is. I'm also curious what that is. Is that another settlement? I am not hostile to them. They started off hostile to me. I have just been defending myself. <laughs> that's, that's all that's been happening there. <laughs> I 
Oh, so this is... It's a landing pad. I want to see what the ship has in it. Nothing I would say that is good. I don't think these landing pads have anything. Yeah, it's just... It's a destroyed landing pad. There's nothing here. I could probably hook that up to a sensor and just sense when I walk in. I don't really feel like doing that though. The manuals, the manual control of that seems a lot, feels a lot better. I guess there's more question marks here than I thought. I thought I explored this. Well, I knew I didn't explore it completely, but I thought I did more than what it looks like. Okay, so that's a drone. What is this? It just feels so good opening and closing that. Aha! There's how you get in. There's nothing here. <laughs> Okay, nothing to see here. God, I hate how stairs work in this. I feel like if I'm going in a set of stairs, I should just be able to walk up them. And what are you? An old farm, not interested. Uh, we got another question mark over here. Somewhere I saw it. Engine compartment.
Alright, so one thing I do know I need. Oh. We need another core. I can't seem to pick up the cores. They, I end up destroying them every time I go to pick them back up. Oh, it's one of these things. They usually don't have anything. Typically, I've been tearing these apart for resources, but... This doesn't look like it's going to have anything. Hmm. Laser rifle. Don't mind how it looks. I don't have any ammo for that, though. No. Is that it? There's not even... there's like one chest in here. Oh well, it was worth exploring. Just to see what's there. I keep finding a lot of uh, tools and weapons. You can see down here we got a whole bunch. Uh, yeah. What does this use? Laser rifle cell. Does remind me, we probably need to make some more charges for our drill and for our uh, multi tool. There was another question mark. Looks like this one's the closest. Let's go see what this is. I really would like to find some useful pieces. Another engine compartment. We just looked at something similar. Before we continue, before we continue, um, where is this? I will be right back. Why is this not? Hang on. There we go. Now it's a full size. Yeah, I'll be right back. I gotta use restroom.
Okay, we're back, and uh, looks like we're having some issue on Twitch side. All right, so let's just continue. We were headed towards this question mark that neodymium deposit is tempting, but I really need another auto miner core. I wouldn't mind putting one over there. Just coming back every so often to collect it. What we got over here? That looks like another core. Let's crash capital. Is there anything in this one? What we got in here? Decoration piece. Shower over there. There's a hole there. Oop. 